Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and today we're going to play Criminal Case and we are going on case 50 and it's the last case in Elevation Valley and wow, it's 50 case for fuck's sake in the Pacific Bay. We see, we went so far, I think we, it's been a year since we started playing in the Pacific Base and we got on the 50 case. I know we are going very slow right now because I'm trying to find out best moment to, to record uh, my gameplay so without anyone distracting me around in the living room so I'm just trying to do, get a little better in recording and uploading on YouTube so okay let's go on to the next case Mtiruriru okay as far as I remember it's been some kind of break in what's it going to be yeah break in Katria, there's been a break in at the Viterces' robotics factory. Another problem at Viterces', but the care of their last CEO has only just been put onto trial. The company's security is weirdly inefficient. When you think of what they're exper ex experimenting on, robots, cloning, you expect them to protect those inventions. Yes, yeah, so think of what might happen if this technology falls into the wrong hands. Katria, get over to Viterces' robotics factory and make sure nothing's been stolen. We'll do sheep, but yeah, let's go to the factory, but let's be careful who, no, who knows what we'll find there. Okay, robotic factory! Okay, that's nice. Wait, is this guy a robot? Huh? Wait, the case is called Program to Kill. Ooh, what's it going to be? Is it, is it kill going to be a ro some robot again? Or is it going to be some human? Okay, we've seen that the victim is human, so it's not a robot. <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> Oh my god, what did they try to do? Oh, that guy looks familiar, where did I see him? We see him uh, in the case in Innovation Valley, but I forgot what he's there. I think he's that programmer who worked with uh, Turing before he got uh, killed by his own robot. I mean, Turing's robot, not uh, this guy. <laughs> and actually, they were working together to make that... Uh, but so, since at the end, that programmer who got killed refused to cooperate with Turing, and nothing good happened. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that right now, so... Let's do this. Oh my goodness, God. yeah, we came looking for a broker, but we found a body. There's a body on us for holding this man in place. Was he being tortured? And you're right, God. his eyes are glowing red. And his body is filled with holes. Oh, it almost looks like something tried to eat him. You're right, that man does look familiar. Wait, did we interrogate you in the murder of Venice Turing? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Bob Levena, that's your name. You're the guy who was holding that Rubik's Cube. And he, as far as I remember in the first case, you know, I felt that he tried to. He released some kind of virus and then we tracked him down, and here we are. That man, that's Bob Levin, the man who co founded Metaverses with Turing before Turing took all the credit for it. Oh, yeah, Turing. See, Turing took all the credit, so. What was he doing here, and who killed him? Could it be whoever broke into the factory? You're right, we need clues. Kirk must have used that control station to operate the robotic arms, which we're, we're, we're holding the victim up. Think you can unlock it? And yet, you found a bunch of robot parts. If anyone can find a clue in that rubble, it's you. Katarina, come on, we gotta work. So, woo, more excited is becoming. Did someone try to turn the turn him into a ro robot because he's got uh, red eyes? So, and yeah, the robot robotic arms were holding him. So, what was the kill trying to do with him? Okay, we gotta find out after I got some stars on this case. So, see you a little bit. We got three stars, so let's do this robotic parts first. Oh, robot parts, what did we say? What's that supposed to be? Metal device, what? What's this doohickey you found amongst those robot parts, Katarina? Alright, it's a whole game of shit, like the one we found while we in the world of Hellers 3. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, hologram record. I need to press this button to watch this to record a video, right? Hello, Karen. Nice to see you again. And why do you look so angry, huh? Oh my goodness, dear. Yeah, that's Karen Knight. This letter is the CEO, Karen Knight, with an urgent message for all Metal Sisters employees. If you see Balavan on the prime 
premises do not engage in call security ability. This is an order. Oh, what the hell do you want now, Karen? That's the end of the message. Why did Karen Knight single out Pablo Vena as a threat? You're right, guys. Seriously, we need to ask Mrs. Knight about her crew against our victim. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do this uh, locked barrel, whatever this is. Well, he used. Killer must have used that for robot control, so. Let's do this. Got it. Okay. You unlocked the control station from the robot factory in record time. Yeah. Ugh, <laughs> you know me, I gotta do everything, and you just sit there and play some games on your mobile. <laughs> You're right, since the station was used to control robot cars, which helped held Bubble Vince's body. It could contain essential information. We should get this control station to Hannah for analysis right away. Okay, here we go. Let's give her that control panel. How long did it take you? Three hours. And now, let's go talk to Karen. What do you want now? Why were you treating him like that? This is Knight. According to a hologram message Comerica they found, we want your employees to report Pablo Vent to the security. We'd like to know why. Because Bob wouldn't leave us alone. As soon as I became CEO, I fired him. He didn't fit the company anymore, but he wouldn't go away. Bob has been caught trespassing multiple times at our facility, so I had all personnel on high alert. Not that I, it helped much. He managed to bust his way in again. I'm sure he's behind today's break-in. Well, if he broke in, he won't be a threat to your security anymore. Bob was murdered in your factory. What? Bob is dead. Yes, Mr. Steinig, you'd better keep your schedule clear until Kubelka defines the killer. You better do that, woman. Uh, okay, I'm, be I'm beginning to dislike her right now. So many suspicious things have happened at Patera's sisters over the last few weeks. Bob's murder in the is the icing on the cake. You're right, Dave. We should have a look around the headquarters and see if Matarsis is hiding anything more from us. Lead the way. Okay, we are going on this uh, territory behind you, huh? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, we gotta find out what are they planning right now. <laughs> Here we go. I think we did this because it, it looks like a Pablo event, so... Okay, cello, uh, water... Ah, come on! Power magazines... Okay, I thought I was gonna need that blueprint because I wasn't reading here. What do I need? Or this ID. Well, could I you don't need that. And here's our sign. I'm just taking my time up when I collect some clues. <laughs> Such fire includes at headquarters, magazines, and brochures. I'm sure you can rubbish through these and find something useful. Why did you pick up that scale model? The detail is impressive, but wait, you read the scale model looks just like Pablo Van. Well, bravo! Why did you notice that? But there's a tag attached to it. It's fair, but I'll get you dusty kit so you can you, you can unveil all the information. Okay, let's do this. How much clues? How many clues do I got? Okay, only two. But I need some stars to do all this. Let's see all it. I got three stars, so let's do these magazines first. Come on, come on, come on! There. Bob looking for forward to working with you. And the fingerprint is here. You found a letter in all those magazines and brochures. Don't erase, Bob. Looking forward to working with you. This was addressed to our victim. It wasn't signed, but it looks like the author left a nice fingerprint on it. I bet you can find a match in there with no time at all. So, for some sign, you just left your fingerprint, huh? But. Nah! I wanted to do this statue first. Okay, whatever, we're gonna do this fingerprint now. I think it's been a long time since we we're going with that, uh, comparing fingerprints with our database. Yeah, we just sent those fingerprints to Hannah and she was taking it too long to do that and I need just a few seconds. Oh, it's you again. What do you want now? So the fingerprint you found on the level to our victim belongs to a certain ambassador Lee. 
Oh yeah, no, he was suspect in the murder of that cloning researcher, wasn't he? He had hired Root Cabal to work for his country of People's Republic of North Fronia. He wanted her to create a clone army for them, you're right. So why do you have what, what Bob Levin to do for him? And why do all the people he hires end up dead? Oh yeah, yeah, he hired hired a lot of people. We know that he hired uh, Root Cabal to create a clone army and now she got killed for that and what did he want Bob Levin to do? I don't know. You're right, Katie. We need to talk to him with Sarah Lee right away. Did he wanted the robot armor army? Yeah, if you if you couldn't do a clone army, then you can do a robot army. <laughs> Here we go. What's this supposed to be? Thanks for creating me, Aphrodite again. We know her. It, if you don't mind saying. Where is the tag attached to that Balavin model say, Katarina? The Master Tree is thanks for creating it, signed by Aphrodite. Is it Aphrodite the robot we met in our previous investigation? She was the Rosatrix's personal robot. So we with a person who built Aphrodite. Okay, you better have a talk with her about her creator. Oh, Balavin, you created Aphrodite for Teresa. Uh. Okay, we're gonna need two more stars to do all this, okay? I think we collect some stars here, and we are when we unlock uh, when we collect star, we can unlock this uh, time limited currency, and then I can collect the star here. Okay, seal up it. Okay, guys, that's it. We got two stars. Let's first talk to Ambassador Lee because we got him first. So, what does he want now from Bob Levin? I'm a set of leak. Well, I found a letter that you wrote to Bob Levin. Something about looking forward to working with him. That's outrageous. I've never written a letter to this Levin you speak. You may not have signed it with a pen, but Kamara Kadia have the only figure with only two years. So what's the story? Fine. Kamara Levin and I were in contact about working together in a way that would be beneficial for the people for the people's republic. But it didn't work out. Kamara Levin had a change change of heart. He had more than a change of heart. Bob Levin was murdered. Cover Levin was better. I'm sorry to hear it. Even if he did not want to work with us, the people who probably respect his geniuses. Nothing but love and respect, but you didn't w You didn't seem to be so sad about his death, huh? Just the uh, love and respect and that. Okay, Aphrodite, you're here again with us. Hello, Kamelikatia. Yes, I did make this scale model. Bob is my creator and I'm grateful to him. He's a kind creator and visits me at the sisters as often as he can. Even if he may be the personal assistant to Teresa Dorea, I wanted to show him that I'm still loyal to him. While well, someone was not loyal to him after that, Bob was murdered. My creator is no more. A second human to whom I'm close has been unmade. Humans are so frail. How can they break so easily? Because we are not robots! We're not breaky. We don't have some batteries like you. <laughs> okay. We gotta wait for those two to finish, so see you a little bit. And we are back, so let's see what the killer tried to do with uh, the bubble of air. Did he try to turn it with the robe because he's got the red eyes, so... So, you're with that face, what happened? Katria, this may be the weirdest autopsy I ever performed. Did you find out what happened to Bob and Roxy? What made those holes in his body? Why are his eyes glowing red? Well, I was going to say crazy, but bear with me. I too was baffled by the gaping holes in his body, so I ran a sample under the scanning electron microscope. And under that microscope, I saw nanobots. He his blood was crawling with them, and they were still attacking his blood cells. Nanobots, you say, huh? Nanobots, those tasty robots that could help us stay healthy all the time? Didn't we find documents about that before, Katarina? Yeah, I remember that. We did. And you're telling us that instead of healing Bob Levin, they killed him? The nanobots are the murder weapon? Looks like it. That's also why his eyes are glowing red, by the way. The nanobots are causing more light to reflect off the interior surface of his eyeballs. Oh, so the nanobots killed you, huh? I can't believe it. So Bob Levin was eaten from the inside by microsco microscopic machines? That may be the scariest thing we've seen so far, Katrina. If I may, but eat, the nanobots didn't decide to attack him on their own. The killer programmed them to murder Levin. When Roxy told me about the nanobots, I scanned some of them to see how they were operating and they were pre-programmed with binary code to become weapons. So you're telling us that the killer has found a way to create a weapon so tiny that nobody would notice it until it's too late? This is chilling. But they need to catch whoever did this to Bob Levin right now. What if they program nanobots to attack other people? We must stop them. And at least now we know the killer knows binary. You're right. Let's hope it helps us, helps us zero in on them. Oh, so the nanobots killed you, huh? You, <laughs> no one tries to turn you into a robot, you... 
You just got eaten inside by nanobots. <laughs> okay, what about this control station? But there, I had a look at the control station and found it to privacy. The station was last used at the time of the murder, which proves Kira used the robotic arms to restrain Bubble Head. At first, it looked like Kira had just pressed random buttons, like they didn't know how to use the controls, until I noticed a pattern. And when I fed that pattern into my database, I realized it matched the famous chess and game studied by Leroy Bosey. Wait, did Darius Kira made the robotic arms move by following a chess play? Yes, whoever used this play wins no matter what their opponent does. It's like the Kira wanted to prove that they'd beat them. Bob. And it also means that Kira plays chess. Well, today I was not sure that this is the last checkmate they ever make. Oh, interesting from you to figure that out. <laughs> Later at the station, but yeah, trying to solve all the events where is doing my head in. Who could have done this? You know, Karen Knight saw the event as a threat and wanted him stopped at any cost. What about the Mercedes Lee? He wanted to work with covering Levent. Did something go wrong? Then there's Aphrodite. She was created by Levent, and we've already seen one robot turn against its creator. Katia, yeah, I just received an email from the victim. What? How? You gotta be someone talking to us as uh, Bob. Yeah. How could you have gotten an email from Paul Levent? He was killed by Nanobots. Nah, someone was doing that. Uh, as uh, Bob, so gotta be someone else. Okay, we gotta stop here. Got to continue playing chapter two. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.